got a question from Brazil. Uh, Brazil. Elaine, Brazil. Elaine wants to know what's the best thing to do on a Saturday night? The best thing to do on a Saturday night, I would say, would be um, watching Harry Potter movies. Yep. Sure. Or the Godfather, all the Godfather movies. Nice. Okay. That's what I want. That's all I'm going to do for winter break, literally. <laughs> Alicia C from Staten Island wants to know what is your favorite song to listen to at the moment? Um, best part by Daniel Caesar. True. Right? Yeah, I love, love the album. We go to Canada now to Toronto. Victoria wants to know what's your favorite item of clothing? My favorite item of clothing right now is this hat. Yeah, I'm feeling it. You rock a bow very well. It's super itchy though, mm. I'm not gonna yeah, lie. Yeah, they do, and then I get all the spots when I'm on there. But it looks great. Oh yeah, that feels so good. <laughs> Manchester next. Um, and Courtney wants to know, what's the first album you ever bought? I think it was the Gypsy Kings. Just kidding, no. It was, it was Cheetah Girls. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Nice. Um, okay, hello to Melissa from Serbia, who wants to know, um, who's your favorite new artist on the pop scene right now? My favorite new artist on the pop scene right now? You know what? I'm gonna actually say I really like Nile songs. Okay. I love slow hands. Yeah, true. Hello to Anna Lou. Um, Hello. They want to know how did you find the process of working with so many different people on the album, um, and did it help you grow as an artist? I think in the beginning it was like really nerve wracking because the first person that ever wanted to do that with me was Diplo, and I remember the first time that we had a writing session together, I was so nervous that I got acid reflux. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, and emotionally, I'm like a very like I don't know why I'm like a very visceral person. I can just like feel it in my yeah, body. Yeah, So it was just like that for the first few months of. Did not you the tell first few months. that? No, I didn't. He doesn't know that. Um, you gave me acid reflux. You gave me acid reflux. <laughs> Yeah, so the first time that I went into the studio with him, I was like so nervous because I was like I'd been writing, but I was like I don't even really know if I'm if I'm good, you know? My manager and my mom. Um, and my family thought my songs were really good, but you know, they could also just, you know, love me. So Once really, you weren't even sure if you were like, gonna be a big deal? No, definitely not. Really? But actually, I take it back. It was not, the, the first time was not with Dipple. The first time was actually with Sean, with Sean Mendes for mm -hmm. our collaboration. I just really wanted to prove to people that I, you know, had something to say and that I wasn't just a singer, that I was like, you know, that I was an artist, that I had a point of view, that I, you know, knew exactly the, the song that I wanted to write, the the lyrics that I, you know, came really prepared. And so the first few weeks were just kind of me like really wanting to prove that to to people and prove it to myself too, you know? When people that I was writing with were like, oh, that's a, actually a really great lyric. Or, yeah. Oh, that's a really great idea. Or, oh yeah, actually we should do that. You know, it made me less and less insecure mm. to the point where by the end of it, I feel like the last studio session I went to, I come in like knowing exactly what I want and not being afraid to say it. Yeah, exactly. And all of that is just experience and, and finding confidence in yourself. And all the people that I worked with were so nice and so encouraging. It, it taught me a lot, definitely.